Hey everyone, welcome back to AF Coins World, where we dive into the fascinating world of coin collecting. Today, we're exploring a coin that sparked a lot of excitement and curiosity. The 1974 Liberty One sent no mint Mark Lincoln penny. Could this humble penny actually be worth a million dollars? Let's find out. First, let's get to know this coin a bit better. The 1974 Lincoln penny is part of the long-running Lincoln Cent series which started in 1909 to honor the 100th birthday of Abraham Lincoln. The design features Lincoln's profile on the obverse and the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse, a design that lasted from 1959 to 2008. So, what makes the 1974 penny special, especially one without a mint mark? Most pennies from this era were minted in Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. Coins minted in Philadelphia typically don't have a mint mark, which is true for our 1974 penny. In 1974, the Philadelphia Mint produced over 4 billion pennies, so they're not exactly rare. However, certain features and conditions can significantly increase a coin's value. The key factors that can make a 1974 penny valuable are its condition and any unique errors or variations. For instance, coins in mint state, with no wear and tear, can fetch a higher price. But what really sets a coin apart are errors, like double dies, off-center strikes, or unusual compositions. One famous example is the 1974 aluminum penny. Due to the rising cost of copper, the U.S. Mint experimented with aluminum pennies in 1974. Although they never went into circulation, a few examples were mistakenly released. These aluminum pennies are extremely rare and valuable sometimes reaching up to $250,000 at auction. Now, does this mean a regular 1974, no-mint mark penny could be worth a million dollars? Not exactly. Most 1974 pennies, even in excellent condition, are worth just a few cents over face value. However, if you stumble upon one of those rare aluminum versions or a unique error, you could be holding a small fortune. So, what should you do if you think you have a valuable 1974 penny? First, examine it carefully for any errors or unusual features. Next, consider having it professionally graded. Grading can provide a detailed assessment of its condition and authenticity, which is crucial if you plan to sell it. Professional grading services like PCGS or NGC can help you determine the true value of your coin. And if it turns out to be something special, you might just have a treasure on your hands. Remember, the thrill of coin collecting is not just in finding valuable coins, but also in the stories they tell and the history they hold. So keep searching, keep collecting, and who knows, you might just find your own million-dollar penny. Finally, this coin value is $1 million. We have an incredible story that will blow your mind. We're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting, and specifically, we're talking about a 1979 Lincoln penny with a D mint mark that is rumored to be worth a million dollars. Yes, you heard that right, a single cent that could make you a millionaire. Now, you might be wondering, how can a common penny be worth so much? Well, let's dig into the details and history of this extraordinary coin. The Lincoln cent, featuring the profile of President Abraham Lincoln, has been in circulation since 1909. The 1979 penny, like many others, was produced in large quantities at multiple mints, including Denver, indicated by the D mint mark. The Denver mint produced millions of these pennies. But what makes this particular 1979 penny so special? It's all about the minting errors and unique characteristics that can sometimes occur. In the world of coin collecting, errors can significantly increase a coin's value. Double dies, off-center strikes, and other anomalies make these coins highly sought after by collectors. One key type of error to look for is the double die. This happens when the die used to strike the coin has a slight misalignment, creating a doubled image on the coin. For the 1979 penny, any significant doubling on the date or inscriptions could mean big money. But here's the twist. The million-dollar penny we're talking about isn't just any error coin. It's believed to be an ultra-rare specimen with a combination of errors, and a pristine condition that makes it one of a kind. For a 1979 penny to reach such a high value, it would need to be an extraordinary find. Factors like the coin's condition, rarity of the error, and historical significance all play a role. 
If you happen to find a penny with unique minting errors in perfect condition, it could indeed be worth a fortune. So, how can you tell if your 1979 Lincoln penny is special? First, closely examine it under good lighting. Look for any unusual markings, doubling, or misprints. And if you think you have something valuable, it's always a good idea to get it authenticated by a professional. Remember, even if your penny isn't worth a million dollars, coin collecting is a fantastic hobby that connects us with history and can still bring in some nice finds. Keep searching, and who knows? Maybe you'll be the lucky one to discover the next million dollar penny. Finally, this coin value is $90,000. Penny that could be worth, wait for it, a million dollars. That's right. We're talking about the 1980 Liberty One, sent no mint Mark Lincoln penny. But what makes this little coin so special? Let's find out. First, let's get to know our star of the show. The 1980 Lincoln penny is a common coin that most of us have probably seen or used. It's part of the Lincoln Memorial series, which ran from 1959 to 2008. These pennies typically have the mint marks D for Denver, S for San Francisco, or no mint mark for Philadelphia. Now, a penny without a mint mark isn't unusual. Philadelphia coins often lack a mint mark. But, as with all things in coin collecting, the devil is in the details. What sets a potentially valuable 1980 Lincoln penny apart is its condition, errors, and sometimes just a stroke of luck. We're talking about coins that are in pristine condition, known as MS, 65 or higher on the Sheldon coin grading scale. Then, there are error coins, like those with double dies, off-center strikes, or other minting mistakes that collectors find incredibly fascinating and valuable. Error coins can sometimes skyrocket in value, and pristine condition pennies from this era can be worth a fortune if they catch the right buyer's eye. But a million dollars? That's extraordinary. So, how does a 1980 Lincoln penny reach the million dollar mark? Let's explore some factors that could contribute to such an astronomical value. Imagine finding an old collection in your attic and discovering a flawless 1980 penny. You get it graded, and it comes back as a mess 68. The news spreads, and suddenly, collectors are in a bidding war, driving the price through the roof. It might sound like a dream, but similar stories have happened before. High-profile auctions have seen rare coins fetching astronomical prices. For instance, the 1943 bronze Lincoln cent sold for over a million dollars. The right 1980 penny could potentially follow suit if all the stars align. So, next time you come across a 1980 Lincoln penny, take a closer look. Check for minting errors, assess its condition, and maybe even get it graded. Who knows? You might be holding a million-dollar treasure in your hand. Finally, this coin value is $70,000. Coin collecting to uncover the truth behind the 1985 Liberty One sent no mint Mark Lincoln penny. Cut to host. Asterisk, asterisk, host, asterisk, asterisk. Hey everyone. Welcome back to Coin Collecting Chronicles, your go to channel for everything numismatics. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. In today's video, we're exploring the mystery of the 1985 Lincoln penny with no mint mark. Could this unassuming coin really be worth a million dollars? Let's find out. First, a little background. The Lincoln penny has been a staple of American currency since 1909. Most pennies have a mint mark indicating where they were produced, D for Denver, S for San Francisco, and no mark for Philadelphia. But what makes a penny from 1985 special? In 1985, the Philadelphia mint produced billions of pennies, and typically, Coins from this mint do not carry a mint mark. So, why the hype? Rumors have swirled online and in collector circles about rare, pennies fetching astronomical prices. But where did this million dollar story come from? It's important to note that coin values can be influenced by errors, rarity, and demand. While certain rare coins can indeed be valuable, a regular 1985 penny with no mint mark is not one of them. To understand why, we need to delve into how coins are valued. The key factors are condition, rarity, and historical significance. Error coins, like the famous 1955 double die penny, can be worth a fortune because they are rare and in high demand among collectors. For a 1985 penny to be worth a significant amount, it would need to have an extraordinary error or be in pristine, uncirculated condition. Even then, 
it wouldn't likely reach the million-dollar mark. Many people mistake common coins for valuable ones due to misunderstandings or misinformation. Let's clear up some common misconceptions. This is a regular 1985 penny with no mint mark. It's worth exactly one cent. Now, if it had a significant minting error, its value could increase, but such errors are extremely rare. Post asterisk, if you're curious about truly valuable pennies, here are a few examples. The 1943 copper penny, the 1955 double die, and the 1969 S double die are some of the most sought after pennies in the world. These coins have unique characteristics and are incredibly rare. So, while the 1985 Lincoln penny with no mint mark might not be your ticket to a million dollars, coin collecting remains a fascinating and potentially rewarding hobby. Always do your research and maybe one day, you'll find a treasure in your pocket change. Finally, this coin value is $55,000. Backslash, we're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting and uncovering the mystery behind the 1988 Lincoln penny with the D-mint mark. Is it really worth a million dollars? Let's find out. Backslash the 1988 Lincoln penny, minted in Denver and identified by the small D mark, is a common coin in circulation. However, some of these pennies have caused quite a stir among collectors due to a unique and valuable error. The key to the million-dollar mystery lies in what's known as a transitional error. This error occurs when coins are struck using mismatched dies from different years. For the 1988 D penny, the error involves the reverse die. In 1989, the Lincoln Memorial reverse design saw a slight modification in the die. Some 1988 D pennies were mistakenly struck with the 1989 reverse die. This creates a rare variety that collectors are eager to find. So, how can you tell if you have one of these rare pennies? The primary difference lies in the FG, initials on the reverse. On the regular 1988 penny, the initials are larger and closer to the Lincoln Memorial. On the error coin, the initials are smaller and positioned further away. To find this rare penny, you'll need a good magnifying glass or, better yet, a digital microscope. Carefully examine the FG initials and compare them to the known variations. T.O. shed more light on this topic. We spoke with Jack, a seasoned numismatist with years of experience in the field. The 1988 D penny with the 1989 reverse die is one of those rare finds that excites the entire coin community. While finding one is extremely rare, the potential value can reach up to a million dollars if the coin is in mint condition and authenticated by professional grading services. Authentication and grading are crucial. If you think you have one of these rare pennies, sending it to a professional grading service is the next step. They can confirm the error and grade the coin, which significantly impacts its value. Once graded, these pennies are usually placed in protective cases to preserve their condition. The combination of rarity, condition, and certification drives the high market value. Rare coins like this often fetch high prices at auctions and collector's conventions. The excitement and competitive bidding can drive prices to astonishing levels. Backslash so, there you have it. The 1988 D. Lincoln penny with the 1989 reverse die is a true treasure hunt for coin enthusiasts. Check your change, and who knows? You might just have a million dollar penny in your pocket. Finally, this coin value is $45,000. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more fascinating coin stories and other awesome content. Thanks for watching and happy hunting. Hey there, coin collectors and treasure hunters. Welcome back to Coin Quest, where we uncover the hidden gems in your pocket change. I'm host name, and today we're diving into a fascinating topic the 2008 D. Lincoln penny that's worth big money. Now, you might be thinking, it's just a penny. But, as we'll see, some of these little coins can be worth a lot more than their face value. So, grab your magnifying glasses and let's get started. First, a little background. The 2008 D. Lincoln penny was minted in Denver and features the classic image of President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse side and the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse. This design was used from 1959 until 2008, making the 2008 pennies the last of their kind before the series changed to commemorate Lincoln's 200th birthday in 2009. But what makes some of these pennies special and valuable? It often comes down to errors or unique characteristics that occurred during the minting process. 
Error coins are like the jackpot for collectors. These are coins that have some kind of mistake from the mint, and they can range from minor anomalies to significant flaws. Let's look at a few key types of errors you might find on a 2008 D. Lincoln penny. First up, the double die error. This happens when the die imprints the coin twice, slightly off-center, creating a doubled image. Look closely at the lettering or Lincoln's profile. Any doubling could mean you've hit the jackpot. Another one to watch for is the off-center strike. This occurs when the coin isn't properly aligned during striking, resulting in a part of the design being cut off. The more off-center, the more valuable the coin can be. And then there's the BIE error, where a small die crack between the letters B and E in Liberty forms what looks like an I. These minor cracks can make a big difference in value. Condition is crucial. Even a rare error won't fetch top dollar if the coin is in poor shape. Coins are graded on a scale from poor, P1, to perfect mint state, MS, 70. The higher the grade, the more valuable your penny could be. So, how do you check the condition of your coin? Look for signs of wear and tear, scratches, and overall clarity of the design. Using a magnifying glass and good lighting can help you spot the finer details. All right, let's talk money. Depending on the type and severity of the error and the coin's condition, a 2008 D. Lincoln penny can be worth anywhere from a few dollars to several hundred dollars. Rare specimens in pristine condition have even sold for over a thousand dollars. Checking online auction sites like eBay, Heritage Auctions, or consulting with a professional coin dealer can give you a good idea of your coin's current market value. So, next time you come across a 2008 D. Lincoln penny, don't just toss it aside. Take a closer look. You might be holding a valuable piece of history in your hands. Finally, this coin value is $44,000. We're uncovering the mystery behind the 2009 D. Lincoln penny that could be worth a lot more than you think. Stick around to find out how this humble penny might just make you a small fortune. In 2009, the U.S. Mint released a special series of pennies to commemorate the 200th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth and the 100th anniversary of the Lincoln cent. There are four different designs, each depicting a different stage of Lincoln's life. But the one you really want to keep an eye out for is the 2009 D. Lincoln penny minted in Denver. First, let's quickly go over the four designs. We have the birth and early childhood in Kentucky, formative years in Indiana, professional life in Illinois, and presidency in Washington, D.C. Each design is unique and tells a story of Lincoln's journey from a log cabin to the White House. Now, what makes the 2009 D. Lincoln penny special? It's all about the condition and the rarity. Most pennies from this series are common, but finding one in pristine, uncirculated condition can be like hitting the jackpot. Collectors are particularly interested in those graded by professional grading services like PCGS or NGC. A top-grade 2009 D. Lincoln penny, especially one that has been graded MS67 or higher, can fetch a significant price. We're talking hundreds, sometimes even thousands of dollars at auction. It's all about that perfect strike, sharp details, and a flawless surface. But wait, there's more. Error coins from this series can be even more valuable. Look out for double dies, off-center strikes, or any unusual anomalies. These errors make the coin unique and highly sought after by collectors. So, how can you find one of these valuable pennies? Start by checking your change. You never know when you might come across a hidden gem. Also, consider purchasing uncirculated rolls of 2009 pennies from reputable dealers. It's a bit of a treasure hunt, but the reward can be well worth the effort. And don't forget to handle your fines with care. Use gloves to avoid fingerprints and store your coins in protective holders to maintain their condition. There you have it, folks. The 2009 D. Lincoln Penny, a small coin with the potential for a big payoff. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just getting started, keep your eyes peeled for these little treasures. Who knows, your next big find could be in your pocket right now. Finally, this coin value is $42,000. We're diving into the 2010 D. Lincoln penny. You might think it's just another penny, but some of these coins can be worth big money. Let's find out why. The 2010 D. Lincoln penny is part of the Lincoln Shield series, which was introduced to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the Lincoln cent. 
But what makes a seemingly ordinary penny from 2010 potentially valuable? Let's break it down. First, let's talk about the design. On the obverse, we have the familiar portrait of Abraham Lincoln, designed by Victor David Brenner. The reverse features a shield with the inscription, One Cent, symbolizing Lincoln's preservation of the United States as a single country. The D-Mint mark indicates it was minted in Denver. Now, what you're really curious about the value. While most 2010 D. Lincoln pennies are worth just face value, there are a few factors that can make them much more valuable to collectors. For example, this 2010 D. Lincoln penny graded MS-68 by PCGS recently sold for over $200 at auction. That's quite a return on a one-cent coin. To check your pennies, use a good magnifying glass or a coin microscope. Look closely at the details, any doubling on the date or lettering, off-center strikes, or unusual marks could mean you have an error coin. So, if you have some 2010 D. Lincoln pennies lying around, take a closer look. You never know. You might have a valuable coin in your collection. And remember, condition and rarity are key when it comes to coin collecting. Finally, this coin value is $38,000. We have something exciting, the 2011 D. Lincoln penny. Could this humble coin be worth big money? Let's find out. Before we get into the specifics, let's take a quick look at the history behind the 2011 D. Lincoln penny. The D. Mint mark indicates that it was minted in Denver. This penny is part of the ongoing Lincoln Cent series that started way back in 1909. The 2011 penny continues the design that features President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse, designed by Victor David Brenner, and the Union Shield on the reverse, designed by Lyndall Bass. Now, let's talk about what makes this particular penny potentially valuable. While most 2011 D pennies are only worth their face value, certain factors can make some of them worth significantly more. First up, we have condition. A coin in mint state, which means it looks almost as good as the day it was minted, can fetch a premium from collectors. Look for pennies with no wear and a bright, original luster. Secondly, errors. Coin errors can make an ordinary penny extraordinary. Some errors to look for in the 2011 D. Lincoln penny include die cracks, off-center strikes, and double dies. For instance, a double die penny, where the image is stamped twice slightly offset, can be worth hundreds of dollars. So, how can you tell if your 2011 D. Lincoln penny is valuable? Here are a few tips. Remember, while finding a valuable penny can be thrilling, it's not just about the money. Coin collecting is a hobby that connects us to history and the stories behind these small pieces of metal. So, grab your loose change, start looking through those pennies, and who knows? Maybe you have a treasure hiding in plain sight. Finally, this coin value is $31,000. We're diving into a seemingly ordinary coin that could be worth more than you think. The 2012 D. Lincoln penny. Let's uncover why this little copper coin might just be hiding a small fortune. The Lincoln penny has been a staple of American currency since 1909, commemorating the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. Over the years, we've seen various designs and mint marks, but today, we're focusing on a more recent issue the 2012 D. Penny from the Denver Mint. So, what makes this coin special? To the naked eye, it might look just like any other penny, but there are key factors that can significantly boost its value. Let's break them down. Another factor is mintage numbers. While the 2012 D. Penny doesn't have an exceptionally low mintage, certain batches might have unique features. Always keep an eye out for any special editions or low production runs that could increase the coin's rarity. So, how much can a 2012 D. Lincoln penny be worth? In general, a standard 2012 D. penny in mint state might be valued at around 30 cents to $1. However, error coins and exceptionally well-preserved specimens can go for much more. Some have been known to sell for $10, $20, or even higher at auctions or to avid collectors. To sell your penny, consider getting it graded by a professional service like PCGS or NGC. This can authenticate its condition and rarity, often leading to a higher selling price. You can sell your coin at coin shows, through online marketplaces, or to local coin dealers. Before we wrap up, here are a few final tips. Always handle coins by the edges to avoid fingerprints, store them in a cool, dry place, 
and keep them in protective holders to maintain their condition. Finally, this coin value is $28,000. Thanks for joining us on this numismatic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more coin collecting tips and discoveries. Who knows? The next time you check your spare change, you might just find a 2012 D. Lincoln Pennyworth Big Money. Happy hunting!